All right, here you go, Big Daddy Shin, YouTuber. So um, many guys know, if you watch my videos, yes, I do a lot of video, like, all the time. So, yes, I got that whole RAV charger, right? This one was awesome. But thing is, in order to be fully mobile to live stream, I need to get a mobile hotspot. It's true. My phone is, uh, you know, only capability from the AT&T, right? But then it only goes so far. But then what I learned was if you use a mobile hotspot that's just dedicated to the hotspot, there are apps that you could actually combine your hotspot and your phone and get like a super Wi-Fi. So what do I do? I get one from Amazon called Glocal Me. And no, I'm not paid to do this one. I had to pay my money just like the rest of the people. So here we go. This came in the mail. So here we go. It's called the Glocal Me uh, G3. And it's the updated version for 4G LTS, whatever. Okay. So this is a true unboxing Glocal Me. So if you've seen this, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, what it is. Okay, so right here you have... Uh, uh, this little pin thing. So it, if you put a SIM card, this, 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 uh, well, this is to be able to poke in. I could use this on my, my Note or Galaxy. We yeah, got my Notes, Note 8, and I guess iPhones have this too. I'm not sure. But we'll go back to this later. But this is to open up your SIM card. Okay. Now here's the manual. Yes, I know. People that saw me can. This is what it looks like. So it looks like an actual phone. Okay. So let's pop this out. Oh, look, in here, you have a cable. So this cable is a, a micro USB, USB micro, in case to charge it, yes? And then, yes, I could use my RAV4 charger. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this thing, it is uh, pretty big. Okay, so you have the uh, power and the, that's, that can't be volume switch. What do you need the volume for? But anyways, up, down, something. Okay, there's where you charge it. And then right there. Okay, see that little thing? You use this to poke it in. And I guess there's two. So if you take this um, outside, oh, there's the charger too. Oh, okay, let me explain. Now, if you go to another country, or even in this country, right? And you need to get like a chip. You know, when they say, oh yeah, the unlocked phone and all that stuff, right? What you do is you get the unlocked chip from another country and it has like internet and stuff on it. Yeah, you pop this thing out. Let's do it. Might as well. Poke it. There you go. And then there's two slots that you could do. And then I guess there are two. you could do two different type of SIM cards. I don't know which ones they are. A regular and a smaller, I don't know, nano, micro, whatever. And then you just stick it in there, and then it'll work on that service. So, for instance, if for my AT&T, if I decide, you know what, I'm going to go get another uh, device, and then this will be my other device, right? They'll, they'll, they'll add another line with, like, the unlimited internet or whatever you have to pay for for these ones, and then stick it in there. So this will be my second device, right? But I'm not going to do that. Because the reason why people get this Glocal is because they have their own SIM inside and you can actually buy internet all over the world. So, <clears throat> you know, when I go to Mexico, when I go to, I don't know if I go to China, Japan, India, you know, you could actually have this device and then just pay for the service and then you use up whatever internet you use and then there you go. That's how it goes in theory. I have no idea. I will do another video once I, I get that. But the one, the internet that uh, appealed to me was, <clears throat> it said that it had like, uh, you know, download speeds up to like 50, 50 mega, megabytes, no, 50 gigabytes per second. Mega, megabytes? I don't know. I think it's megabytes per second. And then 150 upload megabytes per second. I go, wow, that's pretty fast, right? I mean, yeah, this one, it doesn't do satellite, right? It just goes off regular cell phone towers. I have no idea who they have deals with to get the cell phone towers, but then those are going to be videos for the future, yes? So I will be walking around with this thing because the unlimited plan as of now, it's $87, okay? Now, the thing is, if I have a mobile internet and it's $87, 
and it's 50 megabytes per second, if it's a true 50 megabytes per second, if I turn this thing on and it does that, I'm cutting my home internet off and I'll just be using this. Can you imagine? And I go to like a friend's house or something. Oh, you have internet? Okay, here. My password is this, right? Or then, you know, I go to Mexico. I hang out with, uh, you know, Estela Gallardo's dance studio, right? And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, yeah, I need some internet. Oh, our internet's slow. Well, mine's not, right? Now, the thing is, the unlimited data plan, you're going to probably have to do. Because they have this worldwide plan that's like like $388. And you could use it anywhere in the world. But you only get two gigabytes a day, right? Now, the thing is, or two gigabytes a month. And then after that, they bottleneck it to like, I don't know, 128 kilobytes per second. I mean, yeah, that's slow. That's 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 dial-up modem speed probably, right? So uh, that one, yeah, you get the free internet everywhere in the world. But then that's just like texting and stuff. But these I'm trying to do for live stream. So one gigabyte is not going to go that long for me because... Uh, because, yeah, each of my videos are about a gigabyte. So what? I'm going to work out one day, and then there you go. Workout video, gigabyte. Okay, wait till next month for my next video. No. So this one, if I get the unlimited every day, I'm going to go for that one, see how it goes. So in theory, it should work, yes? So what happens is there's no cases. Like, you know, I mean, there are cases, but um, like, like, the, like I have a... A defender, Autobox Defender on my Note 8, right? But there is nothing on here. But then again, I got this on the Black Friday sale. Oh, yeah, by the way. It's supposed to be $150. I got it for um, $114. Okay, so here we go. Here's the case that I bought with it. It's like 15 bucks, right? So it comes with the... Oh, there we go. So this one, I figure I'm going to just put it in my backpack, right? And then... Hold on, let me put this there. I'm going to put it in my backpack... Oh, gosh. And then clamp this in there so I just don't lose it. Right? So there you go. And then you put your wires and stuff in there. So if I, for the charger, this one right here, I could stick it just right there. Yes? And then so I don't need the other plug thing because, bam, I could stick it in right here. Yes? And then um, this thing. Okay. If you're wondering why I have another Anchor product. Okay. Now, the thing is... I love Anchor, but they did me wrong on that last charger. But this thing is life changer right here. Did you ever go to a place? They're like, oh, yeah. Um, can you help charge my phone? Oh, what do you have? iPhone. Oh, I don't have that wire. Oh, Android. Oh, I don't have that wire. Oh, I have a USB-C. I don't have that wire, right? Anyways, this one. I saw it. And then I go, this is going to solve all my problems. Because look at this. Plugs in here. And you go, oh, what's this? You have a micro USB? There you go. Oh, you have a iPhone? There you go. Oh, you have a USB-C? Ah, there you go. Anyways, three on one right there. Okay, now, oh, here's a beauty about this thing too right here. Okay, now I told you I was going to go back to this thing. This is actually an output. So what happens is, I guess it's like a... 6,000 mAh. So this is actually a battery charger. You could stick it in here and charge your phone. Bam. So there's a lot of power to be used. Okay. Now what happens is I guess I could do this. Put this in there. I mean there's a lot of different combinations you could do with all the stuff. But the main thing is you have the ability for all the stuff. Let's see if this turns on. What happens when you turn this on, right? Does it come charged? I guess not. Am I pressing the right button? Okay, well, let's see. Take this, this, take it out of the little rubber bandish thing. So you're gonna see all my electronics at work. In action, where is it? Right there. There you go. There should be a light that goes on saying that it's connected. There we go. 
It's charging. But let's see how much juice we have. Ah, psh, it had the full thing. Look at that. Okay, let's see. I wonder if there's some type of thing that I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Welcome. Android. Ooh. But I don't think it matters. Android or Apple iPhone. I mean, this is an actual just hotspot. Now, I've been looking at all the stuff. Here's the Q&As that I've, I've heard of so far. Can you use this on a boat? No. Hopefully it has Wi-Fi. So the thing is, these only work... Why is it in Chinese? So these only work... English. Okay. So these only work when there's cell tower connections. So if you're swimming in the middle of the ocean, yes, you're not going to get some satellite Mission Impossible, you know, Tom Cruise internet, right? If you can't get phone service, you can't get this service. But if you get weak phone service, you will get weak this service too, in theory. But then, like I said, I'm going to try that other program that combines those two weak services and then makes it into a strong one. Now, can you use this on an airplane? No. So what happens is, once again, you don't use cell phone towers on the plane. I mean, it's it's like they have some satellite Wi-Fi thing because, oh, I got a free thing. But you know what? I'm not going to use that yet. You're using free data. Please download the global app on your phone. Create a, yeah, Okay. Well, whatever. It's going to take me a while to set up the thing. So anyways, I'll, I'll, figure, I'll figure out how this works. Let me turn it off because I heard that some people... Um, they use that one gig. I don't know. Oh, there's my password. Awesome. And yes, I'm going to change that one. By the time this video posts, I'm going to change that. So don't be trying to get my local me password. There you go. Maybe I should reboot it. Who knows? Okay, so, um, but that's that. So you can actually use this for uh, boosting your internet. So it's like, if, if there's actually cell coverage, so what I'm looking forward to is like, you know, just a place like Disneyland. You know, you could use your phone, but the thing is, I get weak signal sometimes, right? But this thing will have full, full hotspot available. So I don't have to worry about like being like one of the Disney guests or employees or, you know, those places where you go to those buildings and then, I mean, if they have bad cell service, once again, then you'll have bad this service, okay? But um, sometimes you go to people's free internet. Like McDonald's, or whatever. But there's there's like a ton of people eating like a fish burger, and then they're all on the internet, so you get really slow and choppy stuff. But this one will be my specific internet, so my live streams, in theory, should be really, really amazing. Okay, so uh, we'll just see what happens. So in the meantime, let me put all this stuff away so you can see how easy it is to put away. Where's the rubber band? that and then this thing i can't wait to use this thing this is gonna be amazing and then this how does this work in this strap in uh, i don't know whatever oh put that one in first There you go. So I close it. Bam. There's my Wi-Fi. I dump that out. Dump that out. Dump that out. So basically, I will be using this and this. But this one, I have my charger here. Oh. And then I hook it up to my phone. Just right here. And there you go. I'm good to go. Be my backpack. And then this is how I'm going to be running things. So, anyways, Big Daddy Shin. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the... Where is it? Of the Glocal Me G3... 
4G, LTE, something like that. Oh, it's G3, not a 3G. It's G3. There's a G2 that's older. And then, um, oh, yeah, if you had, see, like, there's a U2. There's a one that starts with a U and one that starts with a G. The only difference is the size. So don't be confused going, like, oh, how come that one's whatever? No, it's it's the size of it, supposedly. But this one, it, it's, it supposedly has 4G LTE speed. So um, we're going to see what it's like once I actually activate service. All right. Anyways, Big Daddy Shin, unboxing, local me, mobile hotspot. Hope it works out. See you later.